Hello, hello, hello. Secrets to six figures, six figures, six figures, six figures. Who is ready to learn my secrets to six figures in your boutique business? The lighting is interesting in here. Still figuring it out. So, hi, welcome. My name is Emily Benson, and I am the Forbes and InStyle featured founder of Stylish and Successful and the Fashion Truck, and I'm also host of the Boost Your Boutique podcast available on iTunes and Stitcher. So, hello and welcome. If I'm a little bit fuzzy, I apologize. Um, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. So, the internet is an interesting situation. Um, so I might be a little bit fuzzy, but don't hate me. I'm gonna do the best I can here. I meant to do this as an actual webinar that people had signed up for, and it wasn't really working with my system. So, whatevs. You know guys, this is the thing about having a business, is you rock and roll, right? You like, just make it work. So. My connection still says it's weak. If I'm fuzzy, sorry if I go in and out, just restart me. I'm going to share this very quickly in my group called the Fashion Truck Tribe. If you're not in there, I highly suggest you join. I have such a fun place because I get to, um, I do some Ask Me Anything. I do some giveaways in there. Um, the reason I have a Facebook group really is just because I want to be able to have a place for people that kind of connect about their business, like ask about insurance or ask about, you know, in and that was weird. I got a phone call. Sorry. Today is such a weird day, you guys. Is anyone else feeling it? Give me hearts if you need some hearts today. <laughs> it is the pink full moon and whoo, energy is strange. Hence, I'm in like my hippie gear today and I've got all my crystals. You can't see them. I've got all my crystals out. Yeah, people are feeling weird. It's okay. We're gonna make it through together, okay? <laughs> we will We will survive. Hey, thanks, I'm wearing my like fun. This is like my stay at home and work and feel glamorous dress. It's like a really long kimono. And it's navy and it has flowers on it. Super pretty. Um, so let me just share this really quick and then I'm gonna jump right in, you guys. We're gonna talk about, oh good, my lighting's good, I like it. The lighting in this house is very odd. Um, but, I'm, you know, I'm always just doing my best, you guys. Like, I'm definitely not perfect. <laughs> if you think I'm perfect, you got another thing coming. So we're gonna talk about what I did to make six figures in my first year in my mobile boutique on this live stream, so you're gonna wanna stay on it. Uh, secrets, two, six figures. And when I say six figures, what do you? What does that mean? Well, I shall disclose. Um, I, in my very first year in my mobile boutique called The Fashion Truck, I did $180,000 in revenue. That was my first year in business. It wasn't even a full year. Uh, because, of course, in a mobile boutique in Boston, you can't be open all that time. So, all right, so it looks like I'm seeing comments. Let me know if you're here. Say hi. Let me know if you're watching. If you had signed up for the webinar, I'm really glad that you're here. Um, and, wow, the Fashion Truck Tribe, you guys, is blowing up. We're going to hit, like, a 1,000 members really soon. Okay, so I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi off on my computer so we don't have to compete with that. Okay, so secrets to six figures. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. Hey, Irene. Hi, Gloria. Oh, thank you. I love it. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about my journey. A lot of you guys don't know because I don't talk about it. So I'm going to just give you a little background on myself. So a couple things that we're gonna cover here today, um, actually first and foremost, is number one, we're gonna talk about, um, we're gonna talk about how I did that, how I made six figures. I'm gonna give you steps, I'm gonna give you stuff to do. So don't feel like, um, I would love you to stay on to the end. I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end. We're gonna be on here for probably about an hour. That's about as long as I'm honestly gonna last. I've been pretty sick this whole weekend. Um, so I'm gonna just like, like I said, do my best. I committed to this, so like I'm here, I put makeup on, I feel like I look good, maybe. 
<laughs> Everyone's saying I look good with my color, so I am just trust you guys. Um, so we're going to talk about how I did six figures my first year in business, and I'm going to give you my tips and tricks on how I did that. Um, you know, I will make the disclaimer right up front, like, that's not... Um, I don't guarantee that you can do this in your business, right? Part of why I was successful was because I put my mind to it. And I was like, I refuse not to be successful. I made the decision to do the best that I could. And you know, back then I didn't understand how to even like put numbers to it or how to set goals or how to manifest. Like I didn't even know like half the stuff I know now, you know? So I even spiced up um, and I'm gonna give you some of the tips that I gave that I was able to learn myself. I, it bothers me that you can see the ring light, but I really need the ring light on because it's, um, you can't really see me. The lighting is here is like negligible. So, okay. I think there's also like a shadow, unclear. Anyway, okay, so let's dive right in. So a little bit about me. So, uh, did I just start a boutique out of nowhere? No, I, of course I didn't. So I started my um, fashion retailing career in college. My best friend, Noelle, and I, who are still best friends to this day, I talked to her last night, uh, we in our junior year of college started going to the Salvation Army and we would buy clothes and cut them up. So it kind of started with our own clothes, but then we like, people started loving what we were doing. So we actually would go to the Salvation Army, invest in things that we thought were kind of cool and that we could recreate. And we would cut them up, we would sew them back together, we would do custom pieces for people. And that turned into us basically having a fashion business. It was called the House of Noem, Noel plus Emily. Brilliant, right? Like for 20 years old. And essentially it was like a great way for us to just explore. So we put on five or six, I wanna say five, five fashion shows around the Syracuse area. We went to Syracuse University and we put on five fashion shows around the city. Crazy, right? So they were all independent, like people invited us to do these fashion shows, we hired our friends, and that kind of got us like on this track where I was like, okay, how do I sell things? Because we would put on these shows and then we wouldn't sell anything. So it was kind of a blow, right? So if you're in that stage of your business where you're like, I have all this cute stuff, but it's not selling, like, I've been there, okay? I know what you're going through. And so that led me on a mission where I was like, I refuse to sit here and not understand the business side of fashion. Like if I understand how to make things, I understand the design process, then like I have to be able to sell them. Like what do I need to know? And so right out of school, I got a job at a tiny store, maybe you've heard of it, called Abercrombie & Fitch. And I worked at their corporate office in New Albany, Ohio. So I was in charge of the girls' accessories department for 163 stores. I think at the time it was about a $27 million business. I had anywhere from six to 10 categories that were under me, depending on the time frame. And during that time, I built that business, uh, depending on the business, but overall I built it about 100% year over year in sales. And so I really learned the ins and outs of how to run a business. I took something that was a sketch and I turned it into a product, we sold it on the floor, we sent it out to 163 stores, and it was incredible. It was like the first time I had actually seen something go from nothing to turn into money, like freaking magic. Hey girl, oh my God, it's a kimono dress. It's like a long maxi dress. Hi from France. I love, I've been watching all your videos, obviously. I like commented on one, but I've been watching. You guys, Cece is in Paris. She just took the freaking Orient Express from London. Oh my God. Yeah, I've been working out. Hi. <laughs> I also had horrible food poisoning this week, so I haven't been eating. <laughs> Fastest way to lose weight, get food poisoning. Um, so, um, at Abercrombie & Fitch, it was amazing. I learned everything I needed to know. I went on to work at Henry Bendel in New York, and that was an amazing experience because at Henry Bendel, I went through the process with them of actually, like, 
They decided to get rid of all their branded product, or I'm sorry, third party product, and we designed and developed all the third, uh, the, all of the branded product for all the stores. I love you too. Um, <laughs> and so during that time, it was amazing. We got to create a brand from scratch. I was in charge of like naming items. I'd be calling Italy, being like, we need those bags tomorrow. Ah, like, I was literally in the middle of everything. I was the merchant for accessories. That's what I always did. I was an accessories girl. Hence why I always have amazing earrings. I always have some kind of great purse. Like, you know, you guys have seen all my like pouches and purses and all my doodads because I love that stuff. And so at Henry Bendel, I got to work in the Fifth Avenue store sometimes. So I worked in the corporate office, obviously running the business, but because we had this beautiful Fifth Avenue store at, um, 712 Fifth Avenue, so 56 and 5th, um, I was in the store a lot because we were doing new product launches. So I was doing visual merchandising. I was training um, the people that worked there like about our products, like what was going on. Um, and I was getting to interact with customers, which I didn't get to do sitting in my little office calling Italy all day and checking in with Korea, you know? So it was such an awesome experience. And I was like, you know what? This is like the spark is back. Like I want to open a store. I want to have my own boutique. So I started trying to come up with ideas and of course I was living in New York City so there was a bunch of food trucks and I was like you know what like I think if these guys can put fry leaders and refrigerators in a truck I can probably put a store in a truck. So I ended up buying the domain name uh, The Fashion Truck in November of 2011 okay. I love you. Ah! Thank you. Um, I love you, Cece. And so November 2011, ready to get this timeline. So <laughs> you're amazing. Uh, in November 2011, I bought that domain name. In January, I was working at a little store called Delia's in our accessories department. It's now out of business for probably good reason. It was not a very well-managed company. <laughs> and in that time frame, I was laid off. So I got laid off in January and I already owned the domain name. So I literally sat across from them laying me off and I was like, well, you'll see the fashion truck on the road in a few months. And <laughs> I did. I went from uh, January, so it was January 9th, 2011, on March 30th, I moved back to Boston. I was living in New York City, Manhattan. And then in June 2011, so June 9th, 2011, I had the truck on the road. So six months from getting laid off, I had my business up running going. Like I was not stopping. I like found money. I bought clothes. I found the truck. I learned to drive the truck. I went and got the truck. I outfitted it. Like I was just like balls to the walls, right? Of course I did. And this is how I work, you guys. So if you work with me, I'm like, I don't stop. Like I'm like, oh, let's do the next thing. Oh, let's do the next thing. Sometimes we pull back right? Obviously. But for me, if you're going to work with me, like I'm the kind of person who's like, oh, you want that? Let's go get it. Right? Cause that's how I am. I'm like, oh, I want something. I'm going to go get it. And I haven't, I've always been that way. So with the truck, it was like start to finish six months. And like I said, this is what this webinar is all about. So in six months, I made six figures in that no, six months. Oh my God. In one year, one year, let's be honest. In one year, I did six figures in that truck revenue. And I did more than just a hundred thousand. I did $180,000 in my first year in sales revenue. Okay. And a lot of that ended up in my bank account because I had freaking great margins and I refused to do discounts. I refused to do sales. I actually started my business and said, I won't do sales. Like I refused to run sales. <laughs> I was loco. But it worked and I made a ton of money. And so, you know, for me, that was incredible, right? And so I wanna show you how to do that. You know, in the course of the past, so that was 2011, it's obviously 2017. So in the course of the time of having my boutique, I opened a brick and mortar store, I opened like a little prom store, I've taught kids fashion classes, I ran a food truck festival, I ran five food truck festivals that had about, I think 10,000 people combined came to all five, like total over the course of the two years I had it. 
Um, what else have I done? Oh, I've been in Forbes. I've been in InStyle Magazine. I've been in Lucky Magazine. I've been in over 40 international publications. I've been on TV in New York City, in the Boston area. Like, you name it, guys. Like, I've done it. Like, fire, fire, fire. Yes. Like, I've done it. And that's why I've now gotten to the point in my life where I want to turn around and teach you guys how to do this because I see too many boutiques failing. I see too many women getting defeated and I'm freaking pissed about it. And I like refuse to let it happen anymore. And so that is now my mission in life is to see boutiques last longer than like a year and last like successfully longer than a year, right? Like I see so many, oh, I'm getting like so passionate. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I just see so many women get caught up in their own shit. They get caught up in themselves, they get caught up in being frustrated, they get caught up in their shit and they don't move forward in their business. And so it's so easy to do that and I refuse to let you guys do that. And so I wanna share my tips and tricks with you. I wanna let you know at the beginning of this, if you're signing on, my six figure blueprint program is open and tonight is when the bonuses end. So we're gonna keep the doors open until Saturday night. But if you want the 20 minute call with me, if you want my two mini courses, those end at midnight tonight. So make sure you sign up. The link is bit.ly slash SFBA six figure blueprint April 17. Okay. That'll bring you right to the registration page. I love you. I am so sorry. I'm going to miss you in Boston. I'm like really sad about it. I was like, keep seeing the post for it. I'm like really sad about it. Um, but I'm going to see you this year, like in the next couple months. I love it. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for joining. Um, so here's the deal. Let's jump into this. Like, how are you going to make six figures? And I'm just going to open my notes really quick because I don't want to miss anything. So if you're here and you haven't said hi, please say hello. I don't want to miss anyone. Um, let me just open my notes. Webinar, webinar, webinar. That's not it. Uh, sorry, guys. I really don't want to miss anything. So... Who else is here? Anyone? Hi, there's nine people joining us. Guys, I am literally in a, here we go. I am literally in the middle of, um, I'm on a cliff on the side of the biggest lake in Guatemala. It's called Lake Aratlan. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Hi. It's absolutely gorgeous. Except I have been like dreadfully sick most of the time. And I'm exhausted because the altitude is super high. Um, so I have just been like going, going, going here. So, okay. So I decided to rest. I've been resting the past couple days. Oh, you lost me. Okay. So here's the deal. You're in the right place if a couple things. One, you're, you have a product-based business, okay? So if you're on and you're a LuLaRoe girl, maybe you do Agnes and Dora. Yeah, you do. Um, we're going to come to Vienna in July. So maybe we can do like a meetup in Vienna or in London. I would love that. Um, so if you have e-commerce, brick and mortar, LuLaRoe, Agnes Doris, all of those, you're in the right place, okay? Because in all of those arenas and all of those product selling areas, you can make six figures. Okay. Yes. I know. Right. Um, if you feel busy and tired all the time, you're in the right place. Okay. Like we're going to cut that out. If you feel like money is tight and if you're using the words budget, afford, um, what else do I hate? Affordable, too much. Any of those words like, no, 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 we're going to cut that out. And if you feel like you need to learn more, but you don't know where to go, right? You've been coming here for free advice. Maybe like you've watched me on YouTube. Maybe you have been one of the over 60,000 views I've gotten on my Facebook lives. Maybe you're in my Facebook group. I don't know. Like maybe you're taking all this, but you're like really overwhelmed. I'm going to boil some of this stuff down for you in like five or six steps tonight. Okay. So I told you about me. Here we go. Anyone that stays on till the end, I'm actually going to do some giveaways. So don't leave. You guys know that I do this, right? I know. We could sell products in the future. I have lots of ideas. 
I have, about as, I have enough ideas to laugh my entire life of like businesses. It's actually like not so good. Sometimes I get distracted. <laughs> um, so I know, right? Okay. So what are my clients doing? You guys, I want to tell you really quickly. My clients are having six figure years, buying new cars within three months of working with me, moving into their dream homes, having $10,000 first month in revenues. They're having their best months ever. They're changing their money mindset. They're not as busy. They feel good. They're not, not making any mistakes in their business. Like my clients are getting crazy results. So I want to show you how to do that. I'm going to tell you about some of the mistakes I see people make. I'm going to show you where you might need some help. I'm going to give you some sister systems and structures, and we're going to talk about how to keep more money in the bank. Cause period, like, why are you not like, why are you not, why don't you have money? I have women that come to me. They're like, we had such a great year last year, but we have no money in the bank. And I'm like, Oh shit. <laughs> That's not good. So let's talk about how we can change that, okay? Stacey, I just freaking love you. No brainer. You guys, see how Stacey's interacting? This is like really fun for me. So if you guys want to say hi or give me hearts or just be like, this is awesome, I would love that. I am I love positive feedback, so <laughs> clearly. Okay, so number one, what do you need to be doing, right? Oh shit. What do you need to be doing? Step one in my secrets to six figures is you need to be working with your mindset. Okay. And I don't want to like just be generic and say like pause, have a positive mindset because like that's not all of it, right? That's half of it. You need to work on your money mindset. You need to work on your success mindset. You need to work on your visibility mindset. Okay. There's a lot of components that I see women tripping up on. And if you're in my Facebook group, I just posted all about how I'm sick of people being like, I have to get out of debt. I have a get out of debt plan or it's not in my budget or I can't afford it. Like just by you saying those things means that those are going to keep being a problem for you. And I literally just wrote, I just wrote an article or I submitted um, a pitch to bustle.com. Maybe you've heard of it, bustle. It's like everywhere on Facebook about how people are bringing negativity into their lives and they don't even realize it. And this is one of the ways they're talking negatively about money, about success, about visibility, and it's affecting them in ways that they're not able to understand, right? So what words are you saying to yourself? How are you saying like, well, I hope I can be successful. I hope this will happen for me. Like, no, 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 it's not hope. It's I intend for this to happen. I expect this to happen, right? This is why I say like, I always say like, I don't work on luck. I work on my feelings and I work on my thoughts, right? And that's how good things happen to you. So I need you to start doing that. I also need you to start being aware of who you're hanging out with. So if you have people in your life who aren't, that's bothering me. If you have people in your life who are not contributing to what is positive in your, or what you want in your life, you need to slowly stop spending time with them. And that doesn't mean you have to like go up to them and be like, you're really negative. Like, I don't want to be around you. Okay. We don't have to be like aggressive about it. But when I first started my positivity journey and my, my like success mindset journey, I had to stop hanging out with people who complained about money or who were worried about their business or who worried about their life or their kids. Like, it's just like, no, no, no. Like, I don't want people who worry around me. That doesn't work for me. Okay. Wendy says, so it's true. It's like, I need to save up first. No, you don't need to save up first. <laughs> like you don't need to like the people. So in the United States, like I've had multiple conversations about this this, this week. And I think it's like a total, um, it's like a U.S. mentality that we have to like save for a rainy day and aggressively pay off our debt. And it's like, no, like most of the women I talk to when we like actually work through their budget, I'm like, well, what's the minimum payment on your credit card? They're like, Oh, like $150. And I'm like, well, how much are you paying? They're like $3,000 or a thousand. I'm like, stop. You need money to run your business. You need money to invest. Like part of the reason that you have a credit card, you have a loan is because someone trusted you to pay that back. It doesn't mean you have to pay it back tomorrow, right? Like look at all of us paying off college loans. I'm still paying off college loans, right? 
Like I, one of the reasons I was able to have a six figure first year is because the money that I took out to start my business, I slowly paid it back. So it didn't stress me out. I had money for inventory, I had money to do the events I wanted to. And that's where I see like a huge issue with a lot of women is they've been told by all the freaking commercials on TV is like paid on your debt, paid on your debt. Like, yeah, pay it down. But like you can take some time doing that. It will kill your business if you decide to aggressively pay it down because you won't have the money to invest in the inventory you want. Bottom line period. Okay. So please be careful about who you're hanging out with, what TV you're watching, getting crazy texts, um, what TV you're watching and what you're reading. Like stop reading the news. Okay. This is all sabotaging yourself. All of these words, all these people, all of these influences are sabotaging yourself. So let me give you some replacements for this, okay? And a lot of this, like we have a whole part of Six Figure Blueprint where we talk about money mindset is a whole week. We do a whole week on thoughts and desires and feelings. And I see women change so much in those weeks. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so let me show you a couple of the tools I use to change my money, uh, change my mindset. So I think this is going to be backwards, but whatever. So this book, Think and Grow Rich, if you don't have it, you need it immediately. Okay. This book is by Napoleon Hill. I have the hard, I have the soft copy because I like to carry it around with me. Um, and I haven't read the whole thing. I'll be honest with you. I haven't read the whole thing, but do I read it almost? every other day. Yeah, I do. I read a little bit every other day. The chapters are super short. There's great lessons in here. And this is a book I can read for my entire life over and over and over and over. And it has lessons that can be applied. So Napoleon Hill, Andrew Carnegie hired him, hired him? Or this guy went to Andrew Carnegie and said, I want to write about you and how you made all this money. And Andrew Carnegie said, great, here, I'll give you access to all my friends, the richest people in the world, okay? This book's from like the 1930s. And the lessons you can get from this book are amazing about money, about creativity, about running a business, about just life. Like honestly, this book should be your guide to life, okay? Think and Grow Rich. I think it's, let's see, $7.99. I paid for it at Barnes & Noble probably, right? So... This is a great book. I also, I'm big on books and I'm big on audios. I give you a bunch of my audios that I love um, to a bunch of my audios in Six Figure Blueprint. The other thing is I have a Kindle full of, you can't see it, that sucks, full of mindset books that I've been reading. Money and the Law of Attraction, The Amazing Power of Deliberate Intent, uh, Law of Attraction, The Ultimate Introduction to NLP, Men Are From Mars, Women Are Art From Venus, also a great book for sales. Five Love Languages, Get Rich Like You Bitch, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, uh, A Course in Miracles, Manifest Your Desires, uh, Miracles Now, Millionaire Fast Lane, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, Will it fly? Everyday wisdom for success. 21 days to master success and inner peace. You guys, like, this is my Kindle library. I always have something to read when I feel like I need a mindset boost. And that's the thing. So many women don't have these tools. They're just like, oh, I feel bad today. Come on. You can't feel bad. You have to do something about it. You have to take action. If you don't decide to change the course of your fate, the course of your life, it's not going to change for you. Okay. That's the thing is like, I got laid off. I could have easily decided to go back to work because that was what I was theoretically supposed to do, but I chose not to. And what did I do? I made sure I had tools around me. I had support around me. Right? So step number one is mindset. Like stop. So I love this quote. I keep this quote around. Um, it's from Elizabeth Gilbert. She wrote Eat, Pray, Love. She most recently wrote Big Magic, which I actually have on Audible too. If you like reading books on Audible, I could go through my whole Audible list too. It's all different. <laughs> but I listen to Big Magic. She reads it so well. It's awesome. Um, but she says, I've never seen any life transformation that didn't begin with the person finally in question, the person in question finally getting tired of their own bullshit. Like 
do you have a lot of bullshit that like maybe you're putting up blocks around? You got to be honest with yourself. You know, that is so hard to do, but it's probably one of the most life changing things that you can do. And I find that every time like you, I see a woman just get over their bullshit, things change for them. Things shift. Stacy, who was on here for a while and who's in Paris, you guys, so it's like two in the morning, probably later, three in the morning. Stacy has a group called JFDI and that means just freaking do it. It actually means the swear word. But her whole thing is like, get over your shit and do it, right? That's why she's on here commenting. She's like, whatever. She's like, she's extremely successful like I am. And one of the first things she decided to do was just like, get over it. I remember last year we were sitting at a bar at the Plaza Hotel in New York. And we were sitting there talking about all the things we want. And it's just like, we had this whole conversation about just getting over it and just doing it, just going on Facebook Live, like showing up for our people, speaking our truth. Like that is part of this whole journey. And that's what you need to do in your boutique too, right? Just because you have a boutique doesn't mean you can't show up for your people. That's what people expect you to do. And honestly, the more I research like really successful boutiques, the more I find that there's a really strong woman behind them who shows up and who is the face of her products, who is on Facebook Live, who is talking about her stuff, who's posting selfies, who's just like the number one advocate for their brand. And the thing is, is that if you can't be the number one advocate for your brand, then no one's gonna get behind you, right? And I see Laura just joined. Hey, Laura. Laura's a really good example of someone who shows up for her people. She gets on Facebook Live. She's commenting. She is, like, she has her signature amazing glasses that she wears. And she's constantly showing up for her people. And the more she shows up, guess what? The more people are going to show up for her. Like, it's, she's already seen it happening. She's already becoming famous around the area that she lives. And literally, like, Nowheresville, Louisiana, where like we question if people even go on Facebook. We've had conversations about that, but clearly they do because she's showing up at restaurants and they're like, oh my God, it's you. I've seen you before. I've seen you. And it's because she shows up, right? It's like, I, I say here, I show up for you guys, right? Whether it's through me being on Facebook live, whether it's me commenting on every single post and question that you guys ask, like that is me showing up. You have to do the same thing in your business, okay? Like, if you can't do that, then like figure out why not. What is stopping you? And maybe one of these books will help. Maybe my course will help. Maybe doing some soul searching will help, right? Today's a really great night to do some soul searching. It's a beautiful, big, full pink moon. And so tonight would be a good night to set some amazing intentions for the next time, for the next couple weeks, or just for this year even. I hate that you can see that light. I'm such a perfectionist. <laughs> Sometimes it's a problem. Okay, step two. In the secrets to six figures. Who's having fun? Are you guys watching? Can you um, give me some hearts? I'm gonna take a drink. I see there's a lot of people watching. If I get fuzzy or if I drop out, just stay on. I will come back, okay? My internet, like I said, I'm in the middle of nowhere. So my internet is like a little dicey sometimes. Okay, so step two, use social media. Like we were just talking about, great transition, right? Use social media. Like at this point, you guys, if you're not using social media to run your business, thanks for the hearts, great. Um, if you're not using social media to promote your business, then I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> like, what are you doing? So one of the things I have people come to me and say is like, well, we started this website and um, no one's going to it. How do I get traffic to my website? I'm like, um you post on social media, you run Facebook ads, like you actually have to drive people to your website and social media is the quickest and easiest way to do that. So what does that mean? You're using Instagram, you're using Facebook, you're posting at least two times a day on all of these places, okay? Uh, Instagram you can do just once, but Facebook you need to be doing twice, 
okay? Facebook is twice a day. And again, this is where I see people saying to me, oh my God, Facebook's dead. I'm like, Facebook is not dead, you guys. Facebook is not dead. I went this past month, barely did any advertising this month, and I gained over 130 likes on my Facebook page. And my videos are getting seen up to, I think my most recent one got seen by like about 2,000 people. Like, are watching it. Like, it reached like 5,000, but 2,000 people watched it. Like, are you kidding me? That's because I keep showing up, okay? So if you're not showing up in your business and you're not showing up on social media, you really can't expect to grow, okay? Facebook and Instagram are the most important. Don't get crazy. Don't feel like you need to be on Snapchat. You don't need to be on, what even else is there? Twitter. Like, you don't need that stuff, okay? Focus, 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 focus. Again, this I commented on someone's post earlier today in my group where they said, like, uh, oh, we're going to just start. Ready for this? We're just going to start with... Uh, we're just going to start with a brick and mortar store, e-commerce, and selling at tents and, and events. And I was like, no, you don't just start with three places. You start with one. <laughs> Maybe a second. An e-commerce store, it's just like having a real store, guys. It needs just as much work. It needs just as much attention. And that's the thing. People think, oh. They think, oh, we're going to open our e-commerce, we're going to open our website, and everyone's just going to go to it and buy things. They're not. <laughs> Most likely they're not. It's going to take a little bit of work. It's going to take some driving. People don't always buy on the first time. We're going to have to keep sending them back. We're going to have to send them abandoned cart emails. We're going to have to retarget them on Facebook. We're going to have to get them on your email list. Like, you know, it's not all just like, here we go, here we go. Okay, but showing up on social media is going to show that you're consistent, show that you're a real business. This is, this is really important. Okay, so what are you posting? When are you posting? Um, do I think that YouTube helps, Wendy says? Um, no, I know it's how you found me, but honestly, I didn't have YouTube until at least... I've had this business for about a year and two months. I started my YouTube channel in... November. I haven't been on YouTube that long and YouTube, guys, I'll break it to you. YouTube is just my Facebook lives that I repost. It's nothing new. It's repurposed content. So I have a strategy. Again, you gotta have a strategy, okay? <laughs> so no, I don't think YouTube helps um, for product-based businesses, to be honest. I think it helps for service-based because I think people um, are always looking for advice. That's what I am. I'm like a, I'm a strategist. I'm a, an advice giver. I'm a support person, right? I don't necessarily think are, people are looking to shop on YouTube. They might be looking to style on YouTube, but I don't think they're looking to shop. So I wouldn't focus on YouTube. Instagram and Facebook. That's it. If you're just starting, Instagram and Facebook. That's it. Don't spread yourself thin. Again, we think so quick. We think, oh, we have to do all these things at once. No, we don't. Okay. If you guys look at my Instagram, honestly, I haven't posted in probably two weeks because I just haven't had time. I've been sending out a lot of emails. I've been posting on social media consistently or on Facebook consistently. And I've been uploading on YouTube consistently because those are the places where I've been seeing clients come in. So I'm also reacting, right? I'm also like seeing what's happening and I'm focusing on those things. So that's part of it too, is like you can post, but then you are fine. So let's talk about what you're posting, right? Like if you're posting, um, if you are posting things that you see are working, you see things that aren't working, that's where you've got to tweak too. So if you look at my, my, um, Facebook page, I post a lot of questions and people love to answer questions. So I'll wake up in the morning cause I have all my Facebook posts scheduled. I have 90% of my Facebook posts scheduled you guys on buffer. Okay, it's another way I don't like kill myself working because I kill myself on Facebook Live, I kill myself in my groups and with my clients, but, but for free stuff, I can't kill myself because I need the energy for my paid people, right? Misty, I'm just starting my e-commerce. How many vendors should I start with? I don't know. Let's talk about styles instead. I don't give a shit about how many vendors you start with. Um, let's talk, let's talk about styles. Like you need it to look full 
And so what does that mean to you, right? Can you, what can you afford? What's your price point? Who's your ideal customer? Um, who's your ideal customer? Let's start with that. Let's see if you can, let's see what your answer is. We've did a whole better boutique business challenge last week. I don't know if you signed up for it, Missy, but we had a whole day where we talked about ideal customer. Um, that's where you start guys. You start with ideal customer. So I wouldn't think about vendors. I think about your ideal customer. What is she shopping for? What is she going to pay? Um, how many styles feel good to her? Are you making outfits? Right? So let me go back to the, what we're talking about, which is social media. So what are you posting? You're going to be posting outfits. You're going to be posting styling tips. You're going to be doing videos. You're going to be doing Facebook live videos, showing new arrivals, showing sale items, whatever you need to be talking about. But you need to be on Facebook Live at least once a week, if not two to three times a week. On your business page. We're talking about business pages, okay? If you have a Facebook like VIP group, private group, like I just, I can't go off on another tangent. I feel like I talk about that all the time. I don't like VIP groups. I don't think they're for everyone. I don't think they're for product-based businesses. I'm gonna do a whole Facebook Live about when you should have a group and when you shouldn't <laughs> because I think that's important to distinguish. Um, cause I do see it working for some people, but a lot of people it's not working for. Um, or a lot of people it worked for and now it's not working. So it's not a great strategy, to be honest. If you're just starting your business, you need a Facebook business page. Okay? Great. So you're also posting fun, engaging things. So again, what does your ideal customer want to talk about? What is her voice? So is she, are you going to post a meme about her kids because she's a mom? Are you going to post, um, are you going to post something about styling because she needs help doing that? Are you going to post an article about festival season or when Coachella tickets go on sale because your girl loves festivals? right? Who is she? Like, what does she want to hear about? Those are other things you can post about. So it doesn't all have to be products. It needs to be a mix of things. Um, it also can be things like, oh my God, it's May. Like, what's your favorite, you know, what's your favorite part about May? Memorial Day? Or like, is there something cool going on where you live? Like, I don't know, you know, but like you can mark holidays, you can mark the start of um, seasons, the start of months, all that good stuff. Um, and like I said, you really want to schedule as many posts as you can. Obviously, you can schedule Facebook Live, but static posts, image posts, you can totally schedule, okay? Now, I will tell you in... Um, in the Six Figure Blueprint course, which is open right now, I have a whole week about how to do this. How do you do this? How do you schedule stuff? How, what do you post? How often do you post? What are you posting? All of it, okay? A whole week, I have like a 25 page workbook, multiple videos about how to do this. So if you're struggling with social media, the Six Figure Blueprint is a really great idea for you. Okay, what is your opinion on Facebook live sales? I think they're great. I think everyone should do them. I think they're a no-brainer. I, I come on Facebook Live. I'm, I, do you guys know I'm selling to you right now? <laughs> like, this is, my YouTube is me like showing myself, like showing what I can serve, showing how I can teach you, right? This is like, as much as people are like, oh, I'm least giving free advice, like I'm also showing you what it's like to work with me. So like, essentially I'm kind of selling you on me, right? Like, let me like give away the secret. You know? <laughs> like that's the thing is like if you're not showing up on Facebook and selling, like get off Facebook, right? I see so many women that are struggling in their business, but they happen to comment on all this shit on other people's pages or they like things all the time or stop. If you're on Facebook and you're not selling and that's not your number one thing that you're going on Facebook to do, get off Facebook. I'm serious. I'm dead serious, okay? Like your amount of time on Facebook should be focused on your business and how to make more money in your business. Unless, unless you're making a million dollars, okay? Unless you're making $2 million, unless you're making $5 million, great. You can do whatever you want on Facebook. You're probably like too busy at the spa though. Okay, so <laughs> this should be like too many women are just hanging out on Facebook all day. Like why don't you hang out on Facebook and sell some stuff? Shocking. Then something's wrong. Okay? 
Sorry, I disappeared. I'm back. <laughs> I told you, if, if I disappear, stay on, I'll come back. Okay, the next thing you want to do on social media is find influencers to promote you. Okay, so generally that happens on Instagram and you'll want to figure out, so a lot of times this ends up being what like Instagrammers call collaborations. I find that like new Instagrammers are doing collaborations and I find that more well established um, influencers are actually doing like paid gigs. So one of the things you've got to get used to with social media and running your business is actually paying for advertising. And influencer marketing is one of those ways you can pay. So Facebook ads, we pay for Facebook ads. Guys, I spend a couple hundred bucks a month at least on Facebook ads. Um, I know my friends spend up to $10,000 a month on Facebook ads. I know people that spend no money. But I do think with a product-based business that you really, really, really want to spend money on advertising, whether it is with influencers or it is with, um, with Facebook ads. Okay, so make sure your posts look good and make sure you're consistently posting. So that's step number two here. Secrets to six figures. So step number one is fix your mindset. Fix your mindset and keep fixing your mindset. Keep working on it, okay? Your mindset is not something that like, you're like, oh my God, everything's cool, I'm good. Like, no, it just doesn't work like that. It's like a constant thing. Two is social media, okay? Now, third. My third secret, third secret to six figures, secrets to six figures, right? That's what we're talking about. If you're still here, give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. Say hi if you're new and joining. Thanks for everyone that's staying on. This is great. Okay, step number three is you need to set some goals. You need to set some goals. So why are you doing this business? What does it mean to you to do this business? Is this gonna replace your income? One of the things for me starting out was I didn't have a backup. I didn't have a plan B. Because I got laid off, I was kinda screwed. I was like, this either works or it doesn't. And if it doesn't, I'm screwed. So I had to make it work. And there's too many women out there who don't have to make it work. And when you don't have to make it work, it doesn't work. So what do you need to do to have a very strong why and have a very strong intention for why you need this business to work, okay? Maybe if you want, hey Katie, how's it going? Hi. Um, maybe you want to hear, tell me what is your goal for your business. Maybe it's a 2017 goal. Let's start with that. What's your goal for this year? Is it a number goal? Is it a, I wanna start my business goal? Is it I wanna hit a million dollars goal? I know that sometimes there's some girls watching that are like, I'm gonna hit $2 million this year. And I'm like, great, let's do that. Let's hit $2 million, right? I'm not gonna tell you you can't do it. I'm gonna be the first one to be like, yes, let's do it. So what are your goals? Now, I think it's very important to set yearly, monthly, and even daily goals in your business. The deal with daily goals would be someone who is actively has their business open and is working on it consistently. Here we go. Hi, we're back. Sorry. I'm in the middle of nowhere in Guatemala and so my internet is a bit dicey today. So, thanks Katie, I'm so glad you're loving my inspiration and advice, so lots of people love my inspiration and advice, and um, I love when people use my inspiration and advice to make money, so hopefully that's what everyone here is, is here to do, that's exciting. Um, so with your goal setting, I think it's really important to set yearly, monthly, daily goals, and I want you to check in with them every day. I, I set my own goals and I check in with them all the time, okay? That's just like what happens. I check in, I check in, I check in. The other thing is like who is holding you accountable for these goals? So one of the things I find and with some of my more advanced clients who are kind of a little bit farther on in their careers, um, 
one of the things I am there to do is to hold them accountable for their goals and to support them in making those goals. So for example, I had a client who was like, I want to make $30,000 this month. I was like, all right, let's do it. So I was checking in with them a lot. We were talking about how we were going to get there. Like I was pushing them to try new things. I was saying, okay, nope, take a day off, slow down, like go faster. You know, that's the thing is if you're sitting there by yourself thinking that like, you can be held accountable for these goals. Like, what are you doing? Like I, when I was like, I actually have always had a coach since 2015. I've had some kind of coaching, whether it's one-on-one group coaching, I've always had someone holding me accountable. And that doesn't mean they hold my hand, but that means like they're checking in with me and I am like being held accountable to getting to my goals. That's why I've built this business, this service-based consulting business so quickly. Frankly, like right now I'm supporting 35 women in different capacities and I'm coming on here live all the time, right? Like I've built that in less than a year. So, and I've had probably at this point over 45 or almost 50 clients. And again, in some form or capacity, either one-on-one or group setting or, um, or in my membership site. So that's the thing, you guys, like I don't stop when I start. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to build a business. I'm going to build it fast. By the end of this year, I expect to have worked with at least... Okay. So it depends on how certain things kind of like suss out for the rest of the year, but thanks for staying on with me guys. Um, so who's holding you accountable and then what are the rewards for those goals? So I always have, I always have rewards for my goals. I think it's like, just like a little kid that's potty training, like you've got to set rewards for your goals. Okay. So I'm going to wrap up soon here. I feel like we've been on for a while. Um, so let me, let me get to step four. So step three is goal setting. So my secrets to six figures, let me quickly review them. One is work on your mindset. Success mindset, money mindset, visibility mindset, all of that stuff. It needs to be actively worked on every single day, whether it's through books, affirmations, journaling, um, however works best for you. Two was uh, posting on social media, right? I couldn't get to six figures without social media, without an email list. That was a huge part of my success then. It's a huge part of my success now, okay? Three is goal setting. If I didn't set goals, if I wasn't like, oh my God, I need to make X amount of dollars. I knew I didn't have a backup plan in my fashion truck business. And so I was forced into setting goals and knowing that I had to make a certain amount of money to be able to support myself. Now, if you're in a position where you have a backup plan, you have a partner who supports you, that's different, right? You've got to be a little more self-motivated to get to a six-figure number. You've got to like make yourself get there because you're not forced into it, right? So that was number four. Number three is goal setting. Number four is pricing. Pricing, pricing, margins, 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 margins. From day one in my business, I had a 60 to 75% margin on every single item, if not more, if not more. That was my minimum, okay? And now, if you are coming from a business like Agnes and Dora or LuLaRoe where your margins are set, then inventory management is so freaking important, okay? The only way we make money, and I talk about this all the time, I feel like it's, I feel like I like talk about it in my sleep. The only way we make money in a retail product-based business is through selling items. That's it. The difference between the the cost and the retail. That's it, okay? So you need to be focused in your business on making sure that your margins are like on point, okay? That is so important. What are your prices? How are you making sure that you get to that price value relationship that women are buying from you? And how are you planning your markdowns? How are you planning your sales? Are you having sales? Like I said, in my first year, I never had a sale. That was so crazy, but that was part of how I got to $180,000 in my first year, right? 
I didn't have to do a sale because I had great margins and I had great items. I just sold through them. I kept my man inventory really tight. So I sold through things really quickly. I had that great margin. I wasn't wasting cash on anything I didn't need, right? So it's a fine balance between your margin and your inventory. That's step four. Step four of my secrets to success to six figures is pricing margins and inventory. Being on top of all those things will get you there, okay? Honestly, I mean, that's like how you make the six figures. <laughs> it's the pricing. It is a lot of mindset, but it is also pricing. Okay, step five, secrets to success to six figures, secrets to six figures, um, is your brand design. So how are you designing your brand to make it work? Like, who is your ideal customer? And whoever asked about what vendors to work with left, or I don't know what's going on. You don't want to tell me who are ideal customers. That's okay. There's some resistance probably coming up around that. That's totally fine. Um, but like, you need to know who your customer is. That's going to literally guide all of your decisions. And even if you have an Agnes and Dora business, even if you have a LuLaRoe business, you still need to know your customer because every LuLaRoe customer isn't the same. You guys realize this, right? Like every Agnes and Dora customer isn't the same. She's totally different across the board. And so if you're not focused on serving your ideal customer, then everything's going to be off. Your brand's not going to speak to her. You're not going to speak to her. Um, and your customer's experience is going to suffer from that. So I think it's so important to be really know who your customer is, exceed their expectations around like what you're going to serve them with, how you're going to serve them and what you're going to get for them. Right. That's part of knowing what to buy. So when someone asks me a question, like what vendors do you like? How many vendors should I have? I can't answer that because I don't know who your customer is. Okay. For example, I have a client who um, is in the South. I'm starting to like attract a lot of women who are in like Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, like all these places. I am an East Coast girl. I grew up in Boston. I lived in New York City. The farthest West I've ever lived is Columbus, Ohio, and that is barely West, okay? Like that is barely South, that's barely West. I don't fully know or understand a Southern customer or like a Midwest customer. That's not like my bread and butter. So part of when I work with women who are from the Midwest, from the South is starting to like understand who their customer is and starting to help them. <laughs> Hi. I'm really sorry about all these times I'm dropping off. I'm getting annoyed like you are probably. So let me keep going. Um, so I'm going to try to understand your customer as much as I can, but I'm also going to help support you through the numbers, right? So anyone where I'm like, oh, I don't totally understand like the style of your customer. What I would want to look at is like the numbers behind what you're buying and the numbers behind what you're selling because that's going to give me because I'm a retail nerd, that's going to give me a really good idea of who we're working with, who you're working with here, right? So I've worked with people who like, I don't totally understand their customer. I couldn't go to market and buy for their customer. Let's put it that way, right? However, based on the numbers that we look at, because they have sales history or um, they have some sort of information about who their customer is in terms of what they're reacting to, that's how I can help, right? That's where I can say like, oh, okay, like so they're, they're really loving this vendor, they're really loving this print, they're really loving this style. Let's figure out how to expand, let's figure out how to do more of that. Right? So you've gotta always be listening about, you. I feel like when the replay comes on, it's going to be fun because I'm going to look like I'm voguing. That's what I'm going to do from now on when the connection goes out. Ah! Um, I almost, you guys, like went, I almost left here last night because I was like, I can't live in the wilderness anymore. I need to go back to the city. I literally almost booked a hotel last night in Guatemala City. Maybe I should still do that. <laughs> Is like freaking out. Um, I'm definitely not like a wilderness girl, clearly. 
joking. So, okay. So knowing your ideal customer is so important. So that's step number five. Let's get to sex, step number six. And this is the last step in uh, how to secrets to six figures, okay? So step six is asking for help. So a lot of you guys are here because you want help, right? You're watching because you want help. You're asking, you're asking amazing questions in my group. You're asking amazing questions on live streams or you're emailing me or you're posting on YouTube videos. You're asking about how to do things better. And I love that. I love that you are open to asking for help because when you're open to asking for help, that means you're open to change, right? Being alone on this journey sucks. Family is like amazing, but like they can't relate, right? They've never run a store. They've never started a business. Maybe you do have entrepreneurs in your family, but maybe you don't, you have some people who aren't, right? So you've got to like be in tune with the fact that family is going to have trouble relating to you. So, and the other thing is I really, really want you to be careful who you're taking advice from. There's a lot of bunk stuff on the internet. <laughs> and listen, you could be sitting here being like, this girl knows nothing about what I'm going through. She has no idea what she's talking about. And that's fine. Like, turn me off. I don't care. Um, but here's the thing. It's like, I kind of do know what I'm talking about. I worked in corporate retail for seven years. I have my own businesses now for six years. Four of those, four and a half, five of those years were my own boutiques, multiple different kinds of boutiques. Um, and so like, I kind of do know what I'm talking about. Um, but you've got to listen to advice I, um, from the right people. I feel like there are some places online where it's kind of the blind leading the blind. And if you're in my Facebook group, um, the fashion truck tribe, like it is not the blind leading the blind. I like refuse to let that happen in there. I always make sure to give the absolute best advice. I've actually like deleted advice sometimes that other people have given that I'm like, um, I don't know who you are. I don't know what your like success has been in your business, but I would much rather give my own advice, lead this group the way I want to as a Forbes and InStyle featured boutique owner. Like I'm probably doing some things right. So, you know, the thing is, is like, you can't take all advice equally, right? You've got to be discerning about who you get your advice from. So just make sure like, if you're blasting things on Facebook, like asking questions, just come to my group and do it in my group so I give you help, okay? Thanks for saying that, Wendy. I do know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I do know what I'm talking about. That's why I've written a book. That's why I got, get asked to speak about this stuff. That's why I show up here. I love it. Um, so just be careful who you're taking advice from. I feel like that is something that I just like generally want to say to everyone in business. Like, be careful what you take and what you don't. Um, so step number six is ask for help. Okay. You're not, you shouldn't be expected to do this on your own. You don't have to do this on your own. I realized very late in my boutique career that I don't have to be an entrepreneur who's by themselves. And that was not something I knew at first and I wish I had because I think it was something that probably hurt me, to be very honest. I didn't ask for help soon enough. I don't really like to ask for help. I'm actually like sort of famous for that um, <laughs> with some people. But I'm learning to ask for help. I'm learning to say I can't do everything myself. And, you know, the more I do that and the more I ask for help, whether it's from a coach or an assistant or from my boyfriend, like, that's what I get in return is I get the help I need, right? So whether it's paid help or free help, the fact that I'm just, like, okay asking for help is kind of the first step to getting help, right? So you don't have to do this alone in your business. You have me. Obviously, you have communities that I've built. Um, you have my book, you have my podcast, you have my YouTube video, right? Like I am offering a lot of free advice. So that's the deal. Number six is ask for advice. So I'm not sure why you're watching this long. I love it. You've stayed on as I've dropped in, dropped out. Um, but I think you're probably ready to have a six figure business if you've tuned in, right? If you're watching this long, you probably are ready to have a six figure business, you probably want to have some more free time. You
Okay. You probably want to have more money in the bank. Obviously, don't we all? And you're probably just like, don't want to have to keep searching for advice. Am I right? Like, I know that if I existed when I started my mobile boutique, I would have like hired me in a heartbeat because I didn't want to have to figure it. I had to figure this all out myself. Like, so annoying, right? Hey, Karen. That's okay. Don't worry. The replay will be up. I've also been cutting in and out a lot. It just hasn't been that fun. Um, I hate asking for help, but I know I should. Yeah, I do too. I think most strong women hate asking for help, right? Like, I think we're just like, no, we can do it ourselves. Like, but at the end of the day, like, honestly, the, what I've found, and this is like my own true life experience is like, when I ask for help, the help that I get is beyond words changing my life. Like, the fact that I have an amazing assistant now who I can literally be like, hi, can you do this? And like, she nails it. I don't have to worry about it. Like that takes so much stress off me, right? Normally I would just be like, oh, I can do it myself. But I just started to ask for help. That's like why I started hiring coaches because I was like, I don't know how to do this. Like, I don't know how to run a service-based business. I'm a product expert, right? That's what I do. So to have to turn my business around and start selling my services, start selling courses, sell, start selling my advice, I was like, I don't know how to do this. Like, what the hell? How does this work? So this is why I hired experts to teach me how to do it. And, and I, I have coaches. I've had coaches for two years, right? That's part of it. So I think it's like really hard to ask for help, but it's so important to do so. Hi, Karen. Good to see you. Um, so yeah, asking for help is great. So I think like if you're in a place where you are ready to keep going and have help to start your business, to grow your business, I want to tell you about the six figure blueprint because the deal is, is this program has changed women's lives. It will continue to change women's lives. This is the third time I'm running the six figure blueprint. The first time was eight weeks. Then I expanded it to 12 weeks and now it's staying at 12 weeks. Um, it's a live group coaching program where I help product-based businesses build in the six figure blueprint. I help new and established business owners build the blueprint to their first six figure year, or maybe their second six figure year. I've had women in the group who have had good years, um, but they actually increase their income when they start working with me. So I want to tell you about what the six figure blueprint looks like. Um, it's 12 weeks. Like I said, we start next week. Um, so we start next this coming Sunday, you'll get your first workbook. There's 12 workbooks. Each of them is over 20 pages. Um, they're extensive training workbooks on everything from mindset, uh, advertising, social selling, cash flow, inventory management, um, what else do we cover? This is visioning, how to vision what you want. Um, let me look. So week one is six figure money mindset. Week two is six figure thoughts. Then six figure dream life. Week four is ideal customer. Week five is branding. Week six is marketing. Week seven is sales, sales superstar. Woo woo. Uh, week eight is Facebook ads. Week nine is merchandising. Week 10 is social selling. Week 11 is cash flow. Week 12 is visioning. So pretty comprehensive. Um, and like I said, each of those weeks is about a 20 page workbook. Many of them have training videos that go along with it and other support materials to get you through kind of doing all this. So we start on April 16th, which is this Sunday, and we run all the way until July 15th. So you have support from now, and can you believe like July is 12 weeks away? That's crazy. Um, but we run all the way till July. So you'll have support through the spring and half of the summer season, which is incredible. Um, we have seven bi-weekly calls in the program. So those are Tuesday nights. We have group coaching calls. Everyone calls in or everyone that can call in calls in. If you can't call in, you can ask a question in our private Facebook group. I'll answer it on the call, but everyone is expected to speak up on the calls. Like I call on everyone, whether it's just to share a success or also to ask a question. So that is the time when you get to actually work with me 
And when you ask me a question, like on here, I can't answer it all the time, right? Like I can only do the best I can. But when you're working with me, like I'm on your Facebook page, I'm on your website, I'm literally like looking at all your stuff and giving you specific advice on how to get your business attuned to where it needs to be to get to that six, six figure level. And so this is the difference with working with me is like, I feel like I, I almost give away too much stuff for free on Facebook, but that's the thing I don't care because I know that eventually all of you will work with me in one capacity or another. Um, because here's the thing is like, I take businesses that are doing well or just starting out and I explode them. Like I help you get to your next level. I have women that come to me and they're like, I'm doing pretty well though, Emily. And I'm like, yeah, let's see how much better you could do. Right. That's like what I do. Like I'm obsessed with helping businesses become bigger and better and stronger. Like there is no limit. Someone said to me the other day, um, I think that there's a limit to how, who is successful and how successful they are. And I was like, well, you're probably not the right person to work with me because I don't believe either of those things. I don't believe there is a specific, like specific people are picked to be successful ones. And I don't believe there is a limit to how successful anyone can be financially, happiness wise, like no, there's no limit. You can always be happier. You can always make more money. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't care if you're like, well, I'm fine living in a tin shack. Like, no, you're not. Like, give me a break. <laughs> Go on. Don't you want more? Don't you want more? Don't you want to have more fun in this life? Like, we're here for a long freaking time, you guys. Like, our life expectancy is a long time now. Like, don't you want to have a little bit of fun? Why do you want to struggle, right? Do something now so you don't have to struggle. Yeah, I couldn't believe she said that. I was like, we're probably not good together. <laughs> You probably don't want to work with me. Um, so in the six figure blueprint, you're going to get the bi-weekly coaching calls. You get seven of those. You get the 12 workbooks, one each week. Um, you get all the video training support that you need. So you don't have to figure stuff out. You guys like no more Google searching. Just, I'm going to show you how to do everything you need. You got a private Facebook community with, there's already some amazing women in the group right now. I'm so excited about it. Um, so you got a private Facebook group with an amazing support group. I'll be in there. Um, Holly, my assistant, will be in there as well. And then in that group, we have weekly office hours. So we don't talk every week, but you get support from me every week in that group. So every Thursday, you log on. You can talk to me about whatever you want to talk about. A lot of times, if there's a lot of questions... I'll even just jump on Facebook Live and answer them because it's easier. And honestly, a lot of times I jump in that group and just like riff off things that are going on or things that are coming up. Like you never know when I'm going to come on Facebook Live in our private group and talk about something cool. I feel like in the fall, I actually went on in our live group and I was talking about product displays because I was like at this cool mall in California and I wanted to like talk about how cool all this stuff was. And you know, you never know what's going to happen because... Once you're in my club, you're in my club. Um, so weekly office hours and you get um, access, immediate access to resource guides. So I have a book list. I have podcast list. I have um, book, podcast, and something else, maybe audios. It's like a whole resource, um, a whole resource guide. So I want to let you know tonight in about two or three hours here, about three hours, um, the bonuses are going to disappear. So we start on the 16th on Sunday. Registration officially closes on Saturday night. So if you can't sign up tonight, it's okay. You have till Saturday. However, I really want you to get a hold of these bonuses because they're freaking awesome. They're over $900 of value. You get, if you sign up at midnight tonight, you get three things. And they're awesome. You get um, my two mini courses that I'm obsessed with. The two things I talk about the most and I expert at the most, Facebook Live Like a Pro and Money Mindset Mastery mini courses. So they're workbooks, great questions, great guidance. They have links to videos in them on how to do this stuff. So if you're having trouble on Facebook Live, I'm going to give you that step-by-step -step guide. How do I come on? How do I do this? How do I have over 60,000 views on Facebook Live? Can you believe that? Um, and how do I deal with my money mindset? How do every month do I make more money? How do I not freak out when money stops? How do I stay open to abundance, right? How do I not say I can't afford that? I don't say that, you guys. I don't say that doesn't fit my budget. I say, okay, let me make more money or let me figure out how, let me be open to more money coming to me. 
right? And some of you guys, I've actually given money advice to, and you've seen things change without me even like you being in my course yet, right? Can you imagine how much stuff is going to change in your life? Amazing. Hey, Andrea, thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, and then lastly, you're going to get a 20 minute business strategy call with me, which to be honest, they usually turn into 30 or 40 minutes because you guys know I like to talk. <laughs> so if you're really struggling in your business and you really need like one-on-one -on -one help now, or you feel like during the course you want to use that call, you can use that whenever you want. I can do that in the next week or I can do that in the next 12. So that's just with me. It's just you and me about your business. You'll get a questionnaire before so I know what's going on. And you and I will connect and we'll have time to talk about what's going on in your business. So um, those are the three bonuses. So the business strategy call, the two mini courses, Money Mindset, Facebook Live. And then right now, you guys, it's at the courses at its lowest price it's going to be. So if you are worried about money, I have a really amazing payment plan that's available right now. It's $347 a month. It's like nothing. Think of how much you spend at Target. Right. And like, here's the thing. Someone said to me, oh, well, this, I don't know if this fits in my budget right now. Or like, I wish I could do it. And I was like, well, think about the idea that like, if you signed up and did the payment plan, what if you made your money back? Like, what if the changes, because what we do in the first three or four weeks is we focus in on that mindset. We focus in on really starting to shift your thoughts and being open to more money, being open to more time, being open to new things and new ideas. So like, what if you actually like started to make your money back? I'm not going to guarantee that's going to happen. I can't do that. But like, if you really, really need help right now in your business, like this is a no brainer. It costs, <laughs> it costs like four times this price to work with me right now. One-on-one. -on -one, okay. And so I reserve, really, I reserve my one-on-one -on -one time for women who are like churning in their business. They're already established. They've already made between 250 and half a million dollars, sometimes up to a million in a year. Those are the women I love to work with one-on-one because -on -one we can dig into their numbers. If this, if you are new in business, this is a perfect course. Honestly, it is like baseline of everything you need to know to be really successful. Um, I give you hundreds of thousands of dollars of training in this for a very low price. Um, and that's me. You know, I come on, you guys know me. If you've been watching this long, you've been watching all my other videos. I always over deliver, right? I say, I'm going to do this and I give you 10 times more, right? I'm like, ask me anything. So, if you have any questions about the program, I would love for you to check out the page, the registration page. It has a whole bunch of frequently asked questions at the bottom. If you have any other questions, I am going to be up until midnight tonight checking my inbox on Facebook and at hello at stylishandsuccessful.com. You can email me there. Um, so I just want to make sure any of your questions are answered before you sign up if you have any. But honestly, I think for a lot of you who've been following me for a while, who like are starting up or who like kind of having trouble getting started, getting your wheels turning, this program is just a no brainer. Like everyone that's been through it has loved it, has only good things to say about it. I've never had anyone drop out. I've never had anyone like stall out. They all are just like loving, loving, loving it. I have women who've become friends in it, who are staying together at market. Like I have such an amazing community. Of women. When you work with me, you know you're guaranteed to connect with some other amazing women. So um, the bonus is on tonight. If you can't register tonight, that's okay, but I just, I would love for you to get those bonuses. So midnight tonight, and then we start um, next Sunday, but you get immediate access to the two mini courses, the resource guides, and the private Facebook group. So if you're looking to take your business to six figures and beyond, like I said, this is the course for you. So, hey, Yvonne. Oh, thanks. I am a smart lady. <laughs> you're a smart lady, too. <laughs> thanks for watching. I don't know if you've watched this whole time or if you're just saying hi um, and joining now. But I'll post the link to the registration page. Hopefully, I'll see you guys over in there. Um, but I would, I honestly would love to see all of you in there because it's an amazing course. So, I'm going to jump off. I have to jump in one of my other private paid groups. Um, 
we're doing some fun stuff tonight uh, for the full moon. So hopefully you guys are doing something also for the full moon. Tonight's a very powerful full moon, and I don't care if you believe in it or not, but babies are born in this kind of full moon, you guys. <laughs> so you think it does something to our bodies? Do you think we should work with it? I do. Um, so I hope that tonight you'll do something. Google Google uh, pink full moon and some great things will come up. So thanks, Wendy. Thanks for joining me. Um, I will see you guys all soon. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Emily Benson. I'm the Forbes and InStyle featured founder of The Fashion Truck and Stylish and Successful. I'm also the podcast host of the Boost Your Boutique, blah, 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 blah. The Boost Your Boutique podcast. And I am also the amazing creator of the Six Figure Blueprint, which will change your business, I promise. Uh, so here's to making lots of friends and...